Unemployed workers from Philadelphia and New York boarded buses bound for Washington this morning, urging Congress to reinstate their lapsed unemployment benefits. We, the unemployed, are jobless through no fault of our own. Those benefits expired for more than 800,000 jobless Americans last night and will run out for more than a million more if Congress doesn't act by the end of the year. 57-year-old James so, Diaz of Queens is an out-of-work bricklayer. How long have you been on unemployment benefits now? Uh, six months. Have you been looking for work? Yes, but there's no work. Congress has extended unemployment insurance benefits eight times since the economy tanked in 2008, seven of those times without paying for it. Just kind of being raised by an old country boy, it seems like we keep putting Band-Aids on a body that has a cut artery. Republicans are demanding the benefits be offset by other cuts. Democrats say now, it's an emergency. I find it difficult to understand how some of my colleagues on the other side would object to an extension of unemployment benefits for a year that are not offset, but at the same time insist that we provide tax cuts for the very richest Americans without paying for them. Contributing to the pressure cooker environment, Republicans issued an ultimatum in a letter to Majority Leader Harry Reid today, refusing to proceed to any legislative item until the Senate has acted to fund the government and prevented the tax increase. House Democrats have called for a vote on extending the Bush tax cuts for the middle class tomorrow, but that actually infuriated Republicans who want them extended to everyone. Katie. All right. Nancy Cordes on Capitol Hill. Nancy, thanks very much.